Why should we eat? I don't know. They have pitas at Wendy's. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fast food items that don't exist anymore. Wow, that's quite a salad. What'd you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib sandwich. Introducing the burger with the grown-up taste. For this list, we're looking at beloved, interesting, or just straight-up curious fast food items that you can no longer find. Have you ever tried one of these? Do you miss it? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. McDonald's Arch Deluxe The Arch Deluxe was a deluxe flop. I was gonna say that. Me too. <laughs> so obvious. McDonald's had been growing a reputation as a restaurant for children, and they created the Arch Deluxe to combat this notion. Made specifically for adults, it contained a quarter-pound burger with all the typical toppings, plus a special sauce mixed from mustard and mayonnaise. Mmm, the soft, comforting potato roll. I'm in the zone. The chain launched a massive marketing campaign to promote the burger, and released it nationwide in the spring of 1996. Unfortunately, it proved an enormous bomb owing to its premium price and high caloric count. I even get to make the Arch Deluxe. After $300 million spent in research, development, and marketing, McDonald's discontinued the Arch Deluxe in August of 2000. If it were any more grown up, we'd need to check your ID. Number 9. McRib What'd you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib sandwich. It's a new kind of cue. It's unfair to say that the McRib doesn't exist anymore. Rather, it's been made a seasonal favorite in the vein of Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Invented by René Aran, the same man who made Chicken McNuggets, the McRib was introduced as a limited-time item in 1981. And with a big icy coke, it's where you're only human on Daddy Chomp. The good time, great taste. <laughs> Unfortunately, it suffered a few years of disappointing sales and was permanently taken off the menu four years later. It was nationally revived in 1994 as a tie-in promotion with the Flintstones movie and has remained a seasonal item ever since. It's typically brought back in the fall, with some theorizing that its return coincides with the seasonally low price of pork. But you don't need to be told that, because a calendar reminder already did. Number 8. Shake 'em Up Fries It's amazing what fast food companies will do to capture the attention of children. Take some standard fries, add a packet of flavoring, and bam, shake 'em up fries. Thanks for your money. There's so many ways you can shake them up, like the jackhammer shake. The helicopter shake. You can simply dump in your fries, add as much delicious cheese flavor as you like, then shake and eat. Back in 2002, Burger King introduced this item, which was essentially fries with a packet of cheese powder that allowed kids to make the so-called cheesy fries. It was a fun little novelty, but not much else. And like most novelties, the fun quickly wore off, and the shake 'em up fries were discontinued as quickly as they appeared. They now exist solely in the nostalgic recesses of 90s kids everywhere. Number 7. The Dairy Queen Breeze If you love frozen yogurt, the new breeze will really blow you away! The Blizzard is a Dairy Queen mainstay and has remained as such since its introduction in 1985. The company sold 100 million blizzards in its first year alone, and people continuously flock to the chain to get their hands on the soft serve treat. Our famous blizzard is on sale now for just 99 cents. Or get a breeze made with non fat frozen yogurt, same price. So good. Five years after its inception, Dairy Queen attempted a low calorie frozen yogurt alternative called the Breeze, which was said to have 10 fewer calories per ounce. The delicious blended fresh Breeze frozen yogurt treat, now just $1.39. We treat you right. The breeze lasted over a decade, but never reached the cultural heights of its denser predecessor, and was discontinued in 2001 owing to a lack of demand. Number 6. Volcano Burrito Introduced in 1995 as a tie-in to the movie Congo, the Volcano Burrito came equipped with the standard ground beef, shredded cheese, rice, red tortilla strips, and a special lava sauce. If you're hungry for excitement, get the new Volcano Burrito at Taco Bell. But hurry, at just 99 cents, a taste eruption like this won't be active for long. It disappeared following the promotion, but was brought back in the spring of 2009, where it was placed on the so-called Volcano Menu, alongside the Volcano Taco. Want one? Oh, great, great. Look at you. You're a mess. Relax. I got covered. It was a very popular item, and even to this day, people are trying to replicate the delicious lava sauce at home. 
Unfortunately, the volcano menu was scrapped in 2012, and the volcano burrito disappeared the following year. <laughs> Don't look at me. That said, it can reportedly still be found in Britain, South Korea, and Iceland. Number 5. Bell Beefer Serving as Taco Bell's answer to hamburger joints, the Bell Beefer was a sloppy Joe-like burger with ground beef, onions, lettuce, and a special sauce. Nothing fancy, but it certainly gets the job done. Introduced in the 60s as the Chili Burger, the Bell Beefer enjoyed initial success but quickly fell by the wayside. It just sort of stuck around for a while, not popular enough to be a bestseller, but not poor enough to be cut from the menu. But when Taco Bell transitioned to the Tex-Mex style in the late 80s and early 90s, the Bell Beefer finally got the boot. It made a brief resurgence in 2012 as part of the dollar menu, but this too has disappeared. Number 4. Waffle Taco Taco Bell wanted to get in on the breakfast market, and their first order of business was the Waffle Taco. The next generation of breakfast is here. Introducing the Waffle Taco. Eggs and sausage wrapped up in a waffle. Consisting of a folded waffle, bacon or sausage, scrambled eggs, and a drizzle of syrup, the Waffle Taco was a truly bizarre concoction, even for those used to silly fast food novelties. Waffle Taco, the chain's answer to the iconic McMuffin. We did it in a uniquely Taco Bell way. We're going to do something a little bit different. And so that's how we think that we have a, a great chance. Unfortunately, it didn't look good from the outset, with Chief Marketing Officer Chris Brandt ambiguously stating, quote, some of the things on our menu might run out of gas. That proved to be the case, as the waffle taco was discontinued just one year after its inception, having been replaced with the biscuit taco. Number 3. Enchirito the source of Taco Bell's Enchirito remains disputed, with various franchise owners and even a high school student from Montebello receiving credit. It's gooey, it's gooey, it's your old friend Enchirito, just 99 cents for a limited time. The Enchirito appeared in the 60s, when one could buy an Enchirito, a taco, and a drink for 89 cents, which is about $7 today. It was composed of a tortilla, ground beef, beans, onions, and cheese. Yes, gooey cheese. It was officially discontinued in 1993, but brought back later that decade following intense demand. Unfortunately, it was once again taken off the menu in 2013 and has remained off ever since. With that said, customers can reportedly still order one owing to its traditional ingredients and easy construction. Number 2. Burger King Ribs Ribs were the last thing people expected from a fast food joint like Burger King, and it was this novelty that made them a phenomenon. Back in May of 2010, Burger King introduced racks of ribs to their menu, charging customers $8.99 to get their hands on the smoky goodness. Believe it, bone-in fire-grilled barbecue ribs slow-cooked and smoky from Burger King. And while some balked at the premium price, others flocked to their local franchise to give them a try. In fact, the promotion proved so successful that they were forced to cut it short owing to a lack of product. Ravenous customers had eaten their entire supply, but despite the obvious demand, the ribs have never been brought back. Before we dig into our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Onion Nuggets, a bizarre mix between a chicken McNugget and an onion ring. McSalad Shaker, salad in a cup from McDonald's. Just pour on your favorite dressing, shake, and get dressing on every bite, making them surprisingly fun to eat. Fresh stuffed pitas. Wendy's made pitas during the pita craze of the late 90s. It's everything you love, stuffed in a big, warm, soft pita. We're selling lots of pitas, Dave. Word gets around. Bacon Sunday. Burger King made a bacon Sunday in the summer of 2012. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. McPizza There once was a time when you could order pizza from an everyday McDonald's. Introduced in the 80s, the McPizza, as it was creatively called, was instantly mocked by consumers and competitors alike, with Pizza Hut even calling it the McFrozen. No dessert for me, Mom. I don't deserve it. Family-sized pepperoni pizza. It's a parent's dream come true. And while it proved to be a somewhat popular novelty item, it was never really able to shed its reputation, and it was permanently pulled from the menu in the late 90s. McDonald's claims that the McPizza was discontinued owing to its long cook times, as each pizza took upwards of 10 minutes to make. 
Talk about a drive through clogger. Five ninety nine pizza with love from McDonald's. However, those willing to make a trip to Orlando, Florida, will find the last McDonald's in the world still serving the McPizza. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.